In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to scrape email addresses directly from the Google Play Store and then bulk send those addresses in email for very, very cheap. Unfortunately, sending large amounts of emails at one time is not a cheap process. It can't be done via free methods like using Outlook, Hotmail, Yahoo, AOL, or Gmail because of an email limit cap. For example, on the free version of Gmail, you can only send 500 emails a day. If you purchase the professional G Suite plan, that number is bumped up to 2,000, but still, if you have a large email list of say hundreds of thousands of contacts, it would take you 50 days just to email every one of the subscribers on your list once. Using a platform like MailChimp could get the job done, but I'm going to show you something here. This is how much it costs per month to send emails to a list of 100,000 contacts. So it's $4.99 on the standard plan. Definitely a little pricey, especially if you're a new business owner or entrepreneur like myself trying to get your name out there for the first time. $4.99 US is a lot to spend as a new business. I know I don't have that kind of money to drop on email marketing and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't as well. So I'll show you how to send emails for cheap to these contacts later on in the video. But first off, I'll show you how to scrape these email addresses directly from the Google Play Store. The emails that this software grabs Labs are the emails that are shown under the developer information in the games page. And what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that these email addresses are likely developers. Some will be support or PR email addresses. We can just filter those ones out later. But most of them, especially if it's an indie game, will be sending directly to the developer that made the actual game. So that's some pretty powerful information for us. If we're a company that sells anything related to game development, monetization, social applications, marketing, or even if we're a publisher looking for games to put under a portfolio umbrella, these would be the types of people that I would want to contact. These email addresses are a pretty big deal. If we're talking which ones are probably going to have a higher open rate, those general ones that we scrape from the web or buy from an email list versus the ones that people list directly on their games page, I'm going to bet on the ones listed here for being the most active and being the ones that probably won't go right into the spam folder when you send them an email. Okay, the software you need that scrapes this information is called Play Email and you can get it directly from the Envato Marketplace. The website is called CodeCanyon.net. I'll leave a link to the product in the description below if you want to check it out. It's $29 and it acts as a Google Chrome extension that allows you to scrape the email addresses that are shown on each game game page automatically. No need to manually click into each game page, copy the email address, paste that into a Google Sheet file, and then keep repeating the process. It does it all automatically with just one click. Let me show you how it works in real time. Here I'm on the Google Play Store homepage and I'm going to search for a type of game that my company wants to target. Now it also works for apps, but for this demonstration I'm just going to use Android games. Let's search for Flappy Bird. I type it in and we see a bunch of results come up. Here is one that looks like Donald Trump's head as the flappy bird. It's pretty hilarious. Down here are some other ones. Here is Putin. See, just a lot of spin-offs to the same type of game. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here just to load out all of the games on the page. I think that Google Play shows sometimes up to 250 games on any single search. Depending on how popular the keyword is, you might get a lot less, say around 170, but flappy bird looks like it's giving us a lot of results. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Every once in a while it will pause as it loads some more results. And once we finally get to the bottom of the page, we can scroll right up to the top and then run our play email Chrome extension. Clicking this little email icon here in the extension bar will open up the window. All you have to do is click start and then watch the magic happen. You'll see it takes a little bit depending on the strength of your internet connection, but those email addresses we saw listed on each game page in the list will slowly start to fill up in the window. What I do now is leave this running and go do something else and then when I come back to it 20 or 30 minutes later I have a large list of email addresses that now I can export. So I'll fast forward the video now to show you how it looks when it's done scraping the entire page. Just to confirm that it's scraping correctly we can go into a few of these game pages and show you that it is indeed grabbing the email addresses that is listed there. I go into the first game and see yep that's the email address being shown in the play email 
email window. So once it's all finished, we see here that it's grabbed a bunch of email addresses. I'm going to just click copy and then paste into a Google Sheet. I'll do this four or five times for different types of games until I have a good size list that I can start sending emails to. If you want to take this to the next level, you can go through this list and delete all the email addresses from recognizable big companies or just those that look like it might get caught in a spam filter. Like you probably don't want to send to an email address with support in it for obvious reasons because you're likely going to get someone other than the developer or owner of the app or game. Now we'll take all of these email addresses and import them into Modic. For those that don't know, Modic is an open source email marketing automation software that is completely free to use. So it's not like MailChimp, it's not like GetResponse, it's completely free, it doesn't have any cost to use. All you have to do is download the source files and install it on your own website server. So I've installed this one on an old WordPress website that I operated. It was developed with Bluehost and I have a free online course that shows you how to do all of this. So I'll avoid this part in this video. But for those interested, you can get this free course on in the symposium.co or just find the YouTube playlist on this channel. I put all the videos in there. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to set this up. Just want you to know it can be a little complicated at first. There is some coding involved, but I show you how to do everything in those videos. Anyways, here is my Modic dashboard on the Bluehost website. I just head over to the contacts tab and hit import. I'm going to select my sheets file with all the email addresses that I scrape from the Google Play Store. I'm going to match email address column and then it's going to import into a new segment that I'll call game developers. I'll click import in the background and then once that import is finished it's going to automatically send these contacts my email campaign. Let me show you quickly how that email campaign looks. It starts with a new contact being uploaded into the system and then they are sent my opening introductory email. Here is a possible action block whether or not they open the email. If the contact opens the email I send them to a long-term automatic email series that walks them down a sales funnel. I know that because they open the email that it is a good email address and my time and money are not going to waste. If they don't open the email I'll keep them on this campaign and give them a few more chances to open. This carries through a chain of three emails. If they don't open by 14 days after the last email was sent, I delete them or unsubscribe them from the list. I'm not going to go deep into how to make these campaigns in this video just because I cover it exclusively in some of the other videos on this channel, but it's a very simple process and it gives you a lot of possibilities for your own unique campaigns. Okay, that's it for now. I hope this opens up some possibilities for your cold email blast. Remember to stay legal by following the proper anti-spam laws in your area. If people unsubscribe, make sure to unsubscribe them and never send them another email again. Also be completely transparent in who you are or what you're selling by using your real name, address, and the company that you work for.